I'm on the front page of the dataset project over here. It's a project made by Simon Willison, who you might know from a few things. And Dataset can be seen as his tool that is meant for data journalists, making it easy to share data to the outside world. In order to run it, what you can do is you can call Dataset from the command line, and then you can point it to a SQLite database. The big idea being here is that this is now a dataset that you're going to publish to the web in read-only mode, which is great if you're interested in sharing data that other people can then toy around with. Here's what it looks like when you boot it up. You can see that I've got one database over here, and this one database has a table. And from here what I can do is I can go ahead and explore it, and you can see that there are some user interfaces that I can play with. I can click around, maybe do some sorting, I can also do SQL. But we were kind of wondering. It's great to have all of these features available, and one cool thing about Dataset is that you can turn all this into a REST-like API, so you can build web apps on top of this data. But what if you really wanted to explore this with some Python tools? Having a UI for quick explorability is great, but sometimes you want to make a complex visual, and for that it really helps to have a notebook around. And for this particular use case for Dataset, we have made a little Marimo plugin. If you have the plugin installed, the only thing that you have to do is you have to go to the URL that's hosting Dataset, then you type slash Marimo, and then you're redirected to a proper Marimo notebook that is completely running in the front end via WASM, so we're still doing everything in read-only mode. But the really cool benefit here is that you don't have to install anything locally. This notebook comes with tools that should make exploration really easy from the get-go. The notebook that you see over here also comes with some light documentation. In particular, this notebook contains a dataset class that allows you to fetch all the different databases and also show you all the tables, get a Polar's data frame and run some SQL. And we like to think that for a lot of use cases, this can actually be enough to go just a little bit further than what Dataset can offer you natively. You really do get access to a lot of Python tools from this environment. And if you're curious to explore this on your own, we also have some extra good news, because if you go to the GitHub repository for this little plugin, then you can also see that we've got this GitHub pages set up over here that you can also directly play with. And this will point you to a Marimo notebook that is already pre-configured, pointing to a Dataset instance. This is what it looks like. It's currently pointing to a dataset instance that I'm running personally. And when I scroll down, you can see that this particular dataset instance has only one SQLite database, but that one SQLite database does have a whole bunch of tables. From here, we can point to a database that we like, and we can also pass along some SQL. And when we do this, we get the familiar Marimo interface for data frames. Instead of running custom SQL, you can also just choose to get the entire table loaded in, do note that this is using the JSON API under the hood, so if this is a large table, this command could run for quite a while. But the real big benefit here is that you're able to get a data frame that looks like this, and you are then also able to do whatever you want with it from Python. You can run scikit-learn, but in this particular case, I'm just making some pretty visualizations with Altair. We hope that this plugin can really be useful for a lot of dataset users, but there is one small warning that I do want to give you up front, and that we are, of course, running this from a static file. So if you start writing a lot of this code, be aware that if you refresh the browser, that you might lose that data. Feel free to check out the GitHub repository if this sounds interesting, and we're eager to get feedback.